for deployment. Advent has been operating mobile survey teams from some of their trains in this region. And we've located an unprotected terminal, and this is our chance to stop their progress. We'll need to move in and secure the site, remove any hostile threats, and gain control of the access point to recover the data. Five. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Watch it then. Affirmative. They keep these trains running around the clock, but you'll never see them loading or unloading any cargo. At least not where anyone can see it. On the move. Position confirmed. Looks like hostiles over here. Rolling. Heading to that location. Moving to designated coordinates. Stepping off. Overwatch. Confirmed. Scanning.
Advent Network is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Get to that terminal. Looks like they called in some friends. access point. Creeps. 
Successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. You want some more?
chasing aim! That's on the top! That's Target down. Got no ammo. confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished.
here. for Sector 14, East Asia. Welcome, Commander. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. As far as I can tell, they're fully automated and armed to the teeth. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. I find it unusual, to say the least, that the subject so often referred to in the past as the Thin Man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. The turrets we see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. I have to admit, there is something exciting about working under the more intense conditions found on the Avenger. Every decision, every development is of the utmost importance. There's no room for mistakes here. The Proving Grounds are ready, Commander. We can build the Skulljack whenever you give the word. Welcome to the Proving Grounds, Commander. It seemed like a good idea to isolate some of our more experimental concepts, especially when it comes to weapons development. Team get started immediately, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as we've made progress. Outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Really shows you how much they care. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes.
I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there, filled with these shape-shifting creatures? Or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. 